Hey everyone, so today we are going to be making the DIY car charm mirror. Um, in your little packet, there is going to be a sewing needle, so please be careful when opening your packet. Um, this is super easy. Um, so first, you will want to start out by threading your needle. Um, and this is pretty easy. Um, you can always just wet the tip of your embroidery floss and it will go through a little bit easier. Just like that. Okay. Embroidery floss does like to kind of split, so just be a little mindful of that. I'm not sure how that happened. The only thing that you will need to supply is a pair of scissors and if you like essential oils um, you'll want to supply your own essential oils okay so you don't want to cut your string until we are finished um, there's a couple different ways that you can do this um, you can either keep your thread doubled like this or you can pull it completely through and just tie the end if you want um, it is completely up to you whichever way works um, okay so first thing is first you want to start with your um, charm right here I personally like to pull my thread all the way through I don't I'm not gonna tie my end right now because I want to be able to maneuver it if I need to so just take your needle and thread it through whichever charm you got all right and then next so these are real wool they are wool balls um, you can get these off of Amazon in different packets with a whole bunch of different colors and color themes um, I don't know if you can get these in town or not. Um, I was able just to find them on Amazon um, and they're not that expensive. It comes, the packages I had, I think came with like 125 of these, um, but they're really fun. Um, so what you wanna do is just pick a center um, and try to keep consistent with it. So wherever my needle goes through I want it to come through the same spot on the other side I don't want it to be you know crooked like this um, you want to go straight through the center um, but I think I'm going to start out with a green no I changed my mind I want this one okay so straight through the center and if you don't tie your tail just be sure that you have plenty of length at the end okay and then we're going to pull it through make sure that it kind of sits on top of your charm and then you're just going to do the same with your other two again just try to keep it as centered as possible and then my third one all right so that's what we have so far Next, I am going to take some beads, and you don't have to use these if you don't want to. I thought they were a nice little addition. Um, and you'll just string your beads on. Okay, so now everything is on a string. So don't pull anything out. I'm gonna flip over my charm here and I am going to just 
pull this through. Okay, make sure. Okay, now you can take your needle off and set that aside so you don't stab yourself with it. So I'm just gonna take my ends now and I'm just gonna tie them together like this. Okay, and then I'm just gonna make it as close to the end as I can. And then I'm going to pull my string just like that. And then this will just go over your car, your rear view mirror, mirror in your car. Um, the other way that you can do this, I'm gonna just cut the end of this, is to pull your charm all the way to the bottom. and tie it and your charm will act as a stopper and when you tie it you'll want to do a double knot okay and then hold this up like so okay so then we have everything here and then you have the rest of your string. You would take this, you would go to your um, rear view mirror in your car, and you would just tie this around the back and secure it right here. And just make a knot. Um, I say that because car mirrors can be kind of large, so it can be difficult if something is already tied to get it around your car mirror. And this way you can get your charm to be exactly where you want it so that it's not hanging too low. Because I know that sometimes that can bother people. So, you, so in the end it would look like this and you can cut the little tails and that will hang from your, um, your, rear, mirror, your rear view mirror. Um, okay, for the essential oils, you would take um, just like one or two dabs of an essential oil and put it on either all of these wool balls or um, just one. Um, it will last quite a while and since it's kind of near your vents, it will blow on this and um, make your car smell nice. For essential oils, um, two of the best places that you can get them in town is um, Crystal Wand on Buckeye and um, Sunspot on um, North 31. Um, they have really good and safe and pure brands that don't have additives or chemicals mixed in. Like a lot of brands can have um, like at Target or Walmart. Um, for essential oils, you want to make sure that you have the pure brands. Um, you don't want anything mixed into it. Um, so, Support local, those are two really good places that you can get essential oils for a good price. And one bottle of essential oil is going to last you ages. Um, and you can even get like two or three different essential oils and put them on each of these so that you have a mixture of scents. Um, one of my favorites is um, orange, orange essential oil and lavender essential oil. So I hope you guys enjoy this and have a really good day.